Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Once again, last time you guys saw us, we were in Kansas City. We just mm -hmm. did a quick stopover, ate some delicious barbecue. Oh, I'm still dreaming about it. Explored the city a bit. Lots of stuff was closed, so that was kind of a bummer. But <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We made the most of it. But yesterday, we actually made the drive down to Hot Springs, which Northwest Arkansas blows us away every time. We visited Eureka Springs a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. The drive down to Hot Springs, though, was even more incredible, I'd yeah. say. It really is an underrated state, yes. for sure. We're ultimately heading down to Texas, but on our way through, we found this really cool place that has a bunch of different really unique camping experiences, mm -hmm. or really more like glamping, I would say. Definitely like more on the luxury side. One of the coolest things they had was this teepee right behind us. They really have done an excellent job designing this thing. Mm -hmm. It's super cozy on the inside, which we're gonna show you guys in just a bit. They also have a lot of really fun other places to stay. They have a covered wagon, which you could stay in. It was a bit of a toss up between this and the covered wagon. This is definitely more on the luxury glamping side of things, but you guys know we've roughed it before. <laughs> so I feel like we've put in our time. We stayed in this eco lodge in uh, Sweden and that mm -hmm. was probably the roughest one. For it was sure. No power, no water. It was in the dirt and there were spiders a lot everywhere. Of spiders, <laughs> yeah. a lot of spiders. But a fun experience. This, however, <laughs> has no bugs oh, whatsoever. Not a one that we have seen. Plus, we might be doing a little more roughing it uh, in a few days. You yes. guys will see. So, we wanted to have a fun, like, outdoorsy experience without uh, losing all of the amenities. <laughs> yes, without being outdoors. Should we go take a look inside? You guys want to see it? Let's go. Should I do that too? Ooh. This is how you enter. So you have these two different <laughs> layers you have to zip up and down. Which I'm gonna zip this because mosquitoes are suddenly out and about. Yeah. How magnificent is the interior in here? I can't believe how huge it is. It's bigger than our apartment was in San Francisco. It is. And this is the tent. It's wild. And we lived there for five years. Oh my so. god, yeah. There's a huge bed. They have amazing animal skins hanging up that are real. We confirmed this. There's that's a a bear. <laughs> it's wild. They also provide extra beds so you can actually have up to four people in here. Everything in here is so high quality and just heavy. You know? <laughs> Look at this thing. This is incredible, right? That's so sturdy. Yeah, I don't know how practical it is, but it just feels so dang solid. Then of course you have the bed, which we slept in last night. It was actually very comfortable, very cozy. And we had this old guy watching over us. Yeah, scaring all away all the real bears. Is this how you pet a bear? Don't do that. Don't do it next <laughs> to his mouth. This place has all the amenities that you probably would not expect it to have. It's got a whole like heating system that you can just set the temperature to. I was wondering where the source of the heat was from, but it's actually underneath the bed. So heat just kind of emanates from beneath the bed and keeps you nice and toasty. It's here. so nice. It was in the 30s last night, but we were so cozy in there. They also have an air filter or like an ozone machine or something like that. So the air stays really nice and fresh and clean in here. It smells great in here, it actually. Does. And I think that's because they have little knickknacks and trinkets that you can actually buy. And one of them is this uh, soap that smells really good. They also have a uh, TV and and some really goofy DVDs down there. <laughs> Nothing that really uh, is my style, but you know, in case you didn't bring any entertainment, they got you covered. And in case the heat isn't working, uh, you can just build a fire. Ha -ha! Ooh, you're so good at building <laughs> fires, babe. It's nice and warm. <laughs> They also have a miniature kitchen, a little fridge, and a microwave and coffee just for the essentials. They have grills outside, which we will be utilizing in just a little bit. And if you guys remember our tree house that we stayed in recently in Kentucky, the bathroom, it was really, really far away. And the bathroom here is unfortunately detached, but they have a fix for that. So while the real toilet is out there, come with me behind this partition. <laughs> That's right. There's an indoor toilet for, you know, at night when you don't want to run out or if it's raining. So, you know, stay here with people you're very comfortable with. Because yeah, <laughs> this mean, is all that's... Uh... Close is it, but uh, I think it's actually a really smart touch to have this in here because mm -hmm. I hate running out in the night to pee. Yeah, that was the biggest downside to that tree house. Yeah, it was really bad. And it rained, it was so cold, but 
here, you don't have to worry. I'm really excited to show you guys how this thing is built. So you have this lumber that just goes from here all the way up to the ceiling and it's tapered and it all meets up there. And then it's wrapped with a woven cotton. It actually says it right over here. It's 100% organic cotton treated fabric. So it is nice and thick and sturdy and apparently waterproof, I guess. It is also surrounded with, I guess, like a privacy layer so that people have a harder time seeing the outline of what you're doing on the inside <laughs> <laughs> when you're doing your private stuff. Yeah. We're now in the National Park part of Hot Springs, but we found this awesome place called a Collective. And you guys, we scored. Look what we got. Holy cow. It's a very unique take on huevos rancheros, mm -hmm. I guess. It's a bit of non bread, and then they have like a bean tomato concoction with avocado and egg. Yeah. It's like avocado toast, but elevated. Elevated. Yeah. <laughs> We've got this running joke where anything that's like a nicer version of like grilled cheese or mac and cheese or something basic, we call it elevated. Elevated. <laughs> Hot Springs is famous for its bathhouses. This is actually the famous like a uh, bathhouse row area, which has these huge ancient bathhouses. And by ancient, I mean like 1800s. <laughs> yeah. Ancient for the USA, not, you guys. Not that old. One really fun fact, speaking of old things, this is the oldest national park in the entire country. It predates Yellowstone by like 40 years. It was founded in 1832. Wild. And there is also actually the only brewery within a national park here in Hot Springs. Yeah. And we went to it, it's been a couple years now, but we'll link to that video below. I remember it being quite delicious. And I'm not sure exactly what else we did in that video, but maybe <laughs> we show while. you more of uh, Hot Springs because we're actually gonna leave the downtown area now mm -hmm. and head into some nature. Next up, we came down south to Marvin Gar Gar Garvin. Garvin Garvin Gardens. Aww, I don't know why I keep saying Marvin Gardens. Well, that's, that's from Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> Typically, this trail should have a bunch of flowers blooming on it, but I guess we're just a week or oh, two too early. Some of the daffodils are starting. There's little yellow ones in there, and yeah. they're pretty high, but sadly not bloomed yet. In addition to flowers, they have a bunch of really cool structures on the property that we're going to scope out before we head back to do some barbecuing. we made it to the treehouse. It's a really cool structure and luckily they only allow one group of people in at a time which yeah. is nice but it's just made of a bunch of steel and then there's just these uh pieces of lumber that kind of make up the ribs and then little separator things. It is you know. very neat. I would love it to be my house. Yeah. Obviously yeah. with roofs and closed walls but. Yeah. It uh is a lot different than the treehouse that we stayed in recently. Oh yeah. <laughs> this but, one's more of an art piece. Yes this is definitely an art piece but it's cool they have little areas I think that you can climb around on and everything. See at the top. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. Eric found a secret level. <laughs> this is actually the only way to get up here. <laughs> there you go. I win. I think it's meant for kids, but that's all right. We're just checking out the covered wagon. It's super cool. I don't think anyone's staying here. I'm hoping it's going to be open so we can take a peek. How cute. Pretty neato. Okay, this is pretty cool. It even has its own bathroom too. Nice. <laughs> Oh, hey there. <laughs> we didn't plan this scene at all. No, not at all. We ended up uh, hitting the grocery store. We got a bunch of supplies. We're gonna grill you guys. We've got our spiked seltzer. <laughs> yeah. Where are they spiked? Yeah. Let's find out. Spiked. Yeah, and all the vodka's on the top. <laughs> Got my olives that I'm snacking on. I've been obsessed with olives <laughs> lately, you guys. Specifically these Castel Vetrano Castel Vetrano. Ones. Castel Vetrano, I don't know, whatever. Also check out this technique that I use for these uh, sweet potatoes. This is probably common knowledge, but I only just learned this, but basically you, you cut them in half, then you cut them this way, then you cut them this way, and then magic happens. Woo! Oh yeah. I really love that this means that Eric doesn't mind chopping stuff up for me now. Well, sweet potatoes used to be the worst to chop. Once I learned this technique, I really don't mind it. All right, we got our grill started. We have our sweet potatoes on there because it's going to take a while. 
Next, we are trying to decide what seasoning to put on our steak. So it's actually got some pepper on there already. If you guys remember, when we were up in Kansas City, we bought a bunch of like custom seasonings. Slap yo daddy, <laughs> which is the uh, counterpart to, uh, no, it's punch yo daddy, <laughs> counterpart to slap yo mama. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't tell you anything. And then lime pepper. I think we're gonna go yeah. with punch yo daddy. This stuff, we're pretty much in love with. Yeah. It's great. Punch that daddy. I'm gonna punch him so hard. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put your dad in the hospital tonight. Mm -hmm. How much seasoning mm -hmm. is too much? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. Maybe we should preface this. We don't know how to cook steak, you guys. So yeah, this... we got the easiest possible thing to cook, which is like already pre-sliced bits. <laughs> guys, we lost the steak. Yeah. Dang, what a sad sight. We told you we don't know what we're doing. We still got plenty of other survivors. Oh though. man. Yeah, it was a whole pound of steak. We do not need all of that for just the two of us. We did a good job, oh you guys. Gosh. We got our steak, we got sweet potatoes, we got <laughs> asparagus with some uh, hollandaise. Yes. And then we have some peppers that we cooked directly on the grill. This is one of our better looking grill meals. Grill <laughs> meals. Success, I'm gonna call it. Hooray! Steak cheers. Yes. Ding! Camping or, dinner! More like Let's turn the Post Malone back on. Mm -hmm. Boop, and we'll see you later. You guys, they have a hot tub. But that means we have to walk in the cold to get to it. <laughs> oh. Light. Oh, Lee. Oh, fancy. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it burns. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my feet. I'm like a human stew. Oh, that's hot. Ah, <laughs> it always feels so hot when you're out in the cold and then you get right in it. Oh, it can God. be so good. Ugh. We're back from the hot tub. We are snug <laughs> as a bug in a rug. We're all like snuggled <laughs> up here. It's so warm. We have our heater set. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so super toasty. cozy. We consulted our list of old movies we want to watch and we found Shanghai Nights. Jackie Chan, Owen Wilson. So yeah. we're just chilling, drinking, having a good laugh. We actually recently watched Rush Hour and it was ridiculous. We didn't realize how many phrases we stole from that movie. So we <laughs> thought it would be fun to watch another Jackie Chan movie. It's this is equally as ridiculous. It's been a it's been a hoot. But I guess tomorrow we're gonna see you guys on the road. We're gonna head down to Texas. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be leaving Arkansas. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.